How do we go about getting back on track after the recent results? What? You've got to come back in, you've got to put it to bed. Obviously, we don't have uh, particularly long enough, so you, know, you can't really dwell on things now. It's uh, the old saying you just have to take game by game and, and obviously try and, try and put things right that you've done wrong before. I'm off. Exactly, he's like spawn with that. Me being away, coming back to an environment where it's all bubbly, things were going well. So now things are not going the way we want it. We're just going to work hard on our work teams. We saw today on a push shift in. I think I'm pretty sure we're on the right path to finish the season strong. Definitely, and you know, you've all set such high standards of yourselves this season. What have you been saying to each other in order to maintain morale? You know, we're not used, necessarily used to this season picking up a couple of negative results. Okay, they're by fine margins, but what do you say to each other to keep each other going, especially with only, as you say, not like many games left? Yeah, no, like I just said, it's obviously um, difficult when you're not particularly been used to it. Um, thinking where, obviously, the club's been the last couple of years to so what we've managed to try and put together. It's obviously really, really frustrating that we haven't managed to kind of keep that steady pace going. Um, it's a tough league and it's a tough season, and you're not always going to have it your own way, and it's about showing that character determination, passion, whatever you want to put it into to um, to get that back on track and keep going. As you've seen, there's been loads of other teams that have had dips. Some of them come out of it, some of them don't. And obviously for us, we want to be on the right end of that. And like I said, it's about getting together, working hard, making sure we know what our fundamentals are. We've obviously been really, really unlucky. Um, obviously, losing a big chunk of our squad, really. Um, Connor going back from, from loan, obviously losing Ali, and obviously I went injured at the same time as losing two centre-halves. It's, it's a, it'll affect anyone at any level. Um, so the main thing now is obviously we've had a few games without that and uh, we just got to keep pushing and keep plugging. Just a few Omar. Once again, if you said I'd have to agree with it, um, injuries, I'm not actually having them and stuff like that. But my main thing is going into a week, it's just like everyone stick to go on. We need every individual to win games. As I said before, like we've got 12, 12 cup players to go. So Jake, you played in the last fixture against the Milwaukee. Um, a lot of questions were asked about you guys as a squad as a result of that. Um, you know, a lot of people said, do you guys know how important this is to the fans? How would you respond to that personally? Yeah, of course, I think you. Um, we know exactly how important it is. I think my, uh, my statement that I put out, obviously that we reflects that. Yeah, yeah, but I remember I told uh, I told a few lads before. Um, obviously, you might not have understood exactly the, the kind of history as well as I do. Um, and I still tell them now that people people are still talking about that that particular that particular game, that particular goal. Obviously, with Lyle as well, obviously scoring the winner, and, uh, and how well we played with effort and aggression, and so front footed on that day. And obviously, the old ground it was so tight, made it horrible for them. I've mentioned before in a couple of interviews I played with uh, some of their players at other clubs, and they always mention that game. And, how much they really, really felt the occasion then, um, and it's a chance, like you said. It's no matter if you do you leave the club or you come back, like I have, or future when I retire. People will still be talking about that day and that goal. So it's a chance for you to almost like immortalise yourself in the history of the club. So that's a brilliant opportunity for anyone. And Omar, you've spoken recently about getting more goals. It's obviously your main job, but you also have a very important role in the team. How much do you enjoy that role within the team? And you know. I looked the other day, there's a stat, I think you've got the most tackles out of all the strikers in the division. Yeah, it just sums me up, like, I just defend for the team. Um, it's just 
a unique role I play in a team and not many players can do that. But once again, I have a fucking good shift for the boys to get them in a better position to score goals. Every day is better than the one that can take the opportunities to score that one, especially on Saturday. Jay just mentioned that the players scoring them games, people are just going to ruin them and we definitely want to do that same thing on Saturday. For sure. And then you both drive in together as, as we discussed before. How much do you talk about games and, and which podcast are you listening to now? <laughs> yeah, I mean, the yeah, thing is the Peter Crouch one last time. We started before. yeah, we started off with a couple, so we had under the cost sheet signs and we went down to the Peter Crouch one. Uh, most of the time it's just us talking a load of nonsense really to pass the time, which always helps when there's two of you. Um, but after games obviously we're together. Coming up to games we're obviously together, so you naturally will have moments where you start talking about things and almost putting the words to rights and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, mainly it's, it's more, more silly stuff to keep yourself grounded. There. And, and do you find the race for the playoffs, I don't know, exciting is the right, right word, but fascinating the fact that there's so many teams going for it. I mean, you saw some of the results last night. It just shows anyone can beat anyone. Yeah, of course, like I said earlier, it's, it's, uh, it's a tough level and it always is. Um, you know, with, uh, with the money that's on board at higher clubs, obviously pitches stay nicer, higher level, obviously pitches start to get worse, naturally things start to maybe sometimes not look as fluent as it maybe did earlier in the season, they're things you have to adapt to, um, and naturally obviously this season there's even more teams now all stuck in this sort of race, which is uh, which is brilliant for any football, if you're not getting excited looking at that looking at that table with uh, that many games left, then it's probably not a job for you, because it's a chance to, to make history, and obviously there's so many teams wanting to do it, it's a great opportunity. And then just finally, a message to the fans over the weekend. Power Lane's a great place to play football. Likely to be a sellout crowd. What, what would your message be, Omar, first? We just got to deliver. If we don't deliver, they're going to obviously not going to enjoy that moment, but we definitely will. We will get up for it. We're going to try to Just get that place bouncing again, but it has been. The last few games we have played at home. I know it's it has been easy for all of us, but I'm pretty sure we go back on track. Yeah, stick with us. We need everyone. We're going to need absolutely everyone. Fans, staff, players, anyone who's watching at home on the, on the TV, anything. We, everyone's got to stick together. Like I said, we've got Omar touch soon. We've got 12-11 cup finals now. And every game's going to be important, particularly our home games. We need to really take advantage of that. And uh, boys are working their socks off every single day. We all know what we want. We all know what the fans want. And we all got to stick together. Everyone. Well said, both of you. All the best. Yeah, Thank you, guys.